Hi, and welcome to the channel, Domestic Wind Turbine Reviews. My name's Dunk. Over the coming months, I'm going to be releasing a series of videos with the aim of giving you the best chance of success if you're thinking about installing a wind turbine. I'm going to be covering the types of turbines, masts, mountings, and the types of electrical connections and things you'll need to create a safe environment for you to produce power from a turbine. So without losing any further time, let's go on and look at the parameters and the types of things you need to consider. Well, I think it's important uh, that we start by actually defining the meaning of domestic in the context of the wind turbine installation. Now, this is my uh, definition of domestic. Other people may have a different, a completely different opinion. But I'm going to try and give you probably, uh, you know, the, probably the three main things to consider uh, when looking at the parameters to enable it to be classified for me as a domestic wind turbine installation. So let's go on and look at those three things. So let's look at the first of those parameters, and that's power output. Um, you will see if you go on AliExpress, multitudes of claims on power output on, on wind turbines. And uh, they're nearly all wrong. There, there, are, there, are, there are maximum power, nominal power outputs that you will never achieve. But in general, they're more or less all inaccurate in a consistent way, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm going to pick a range of power output between 750 watts and 3 kilowatts as giving a range and size of wind turbines uh, that uh, are able to be considered for me as domestic. That will include things like the dimensions, the actual power it might achieve, uh, and the ease of putting these things up. So first of all, the first parameter for me, maximum nominal power output, something between 750 watts and 3 kilowatts. So let's move on to the second parameter that I've been using when considering what to purchase for a domestic wind turbine. Uh, if you go onto AliExpress or Amazon or any other uh, uh, platform that uh, you can buy a wind turbine, you'll see there are multiples of shapes, of colors, of designs. But essentially, there are only two types of design of wind turbine. There is a horizontal access wind turbine, the type you see out uh, in the fields, out in the sea, uh, where the shaft is going horizontally into the permanent magnet generator and to generate the power. And then there are vertical access wind turbines where the axis is down into the permanent magnet and the, the wind actually is, uh, can come from any direction and the blades turn in, in, in that orientation. Now, you'll see lots of these uh, on AliExpress, uh, these as well. But I'm going to suggest that actually this type of wind turbine is significantly easier to manage in a domestic environment. It's much more efficient. It's much easier to handle and to locate. This probably will be no better than a very nice ornament turning in the breeze uh, in your garden or, or wherever you're going to install. There are some very good videos explaining the technical differences and you know, perhaps why there are pros and cons of, of each. Uh, and I'm not saying that these don't work. Uh, as, as a wind turbine. I've seen a couple of installations, I think, in Southern Ireland, where they are uh, substantial size, uh, up very high on top of a hill. And uh, these do work, and as I said, there, there, are, there are plenty of advantages for using a wind turbine like this. But in domestic environment, uh, I'm looking at the ease of installation, the ease of operation, the ease of maintenance, and the efficiency that I could expect to achieve in a certain environment. This will win every time. So I would suggest you go for a horizontal wind turbine and not a vertical. And then let's get to the third parameter that I'm considering, and that's location. Uh, it's a bit like houses, location, location, location. Location is critical to the success of a domestic wind turbine. Now, I've seen people put a, a pole on the side of a, of a house in, in modern housing estates. It won't work. You're not going to achieve anything of any significance uh, in, in that environment. So in my definition of domestic wind turbines, I'm only really going to consider the ability to install a turbine if you can put it in a location that's mainly significantly away from buildings and infrastructure. Or, and this is highly unlikely, you, know, you can place a mast 
so high above the buildings that you'll mitigate uh, the, the negative impact of buildings. So when you're considering location, there are uh, the main factor, the, the main factor is to be able to get the herd turbine as high off the ground as possible. And the reason for doing that is quite simple. The higher you go, uh, the, 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 the greater the potential for, for wind speed. And equally, the greater or the, the reduced potential for air turbulence disruption caused by uh, uh, objects in the distance. And you can have things like lines of trees many, many, many hundreds of meters away causing disruption to your wind turbine if it's not that far off the ground. So in my definition uh, for location, I'm thinking about someone who might have uh, you know, a small field uh, something or something away from the house, and probably the house in a more rural location. Again, I, I'm not I'm not saying it's not possible to uh, install a turbine in in more of a you know an urban environment, but I'm going to say that you probably have to have your mast at least 20 meters off the ground. So if you can find a mast that you can attach to a building or with sufficient guy ropes in in environment to get your wind turbine above your house, uh, way above the house, at a, at a height of about 20 meters, then maybe this will work. But I would say that's, high, for most people, that's unlikely. So you're probably going to need some field where you can install a decent mast with decent stability and get to heights around 20 meters. Uh, and we'll look at that in some of the videos to come, uh, how I've done that with the mast that I've installed. So the final one, height, location, Minimal disruption from infrastructure, buildings, trees around you as much as you, as much as you can avoid, and height probably somewhere, somewhere over 17 meters, 17, 20 meters. So I've now outlined what I think are the three parameters you should consider when thinking about the installation of a domestic wind turbine. The one, the power output of the turbine, something between 750 watts and three kilowatts. The second, the type of wind turbine, horizontal access, not vertical. And finally, the third area, the location, you know, where you're going to install the mast to ensure that you've got the best chance of success in achieving maximum wind speed. So I'm going to move on now. Let's look at a second video, and I'm going to show you the installation that uh, I've made on uh, my wind turbine in terms of the mast, where I've located it.